of my job. They perform creditably well in all the duties that they've been asked to do. Okay guys, I'm back again and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi there, Lillian here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you and I hope you will like this video. And of course, if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button. So you guys, I'm back again with another security video. I told you guys, my mind is always busy because I love to think and when I think, sometimes nobody absolutely nobody asks me to do anything about anything but i just sit down and start to think so thinking got me to where i am today and today i want to see how the ghanaian police service are playing a role outside of ghana how they are doing outside of ghana everything about ghana symbolizes peace i don't mind anyone taking this for the views yes i'm saying this because i want the views all right please view this video very well for me okay i love you <laughs> but the truth is minus the fact that someone would think i'm saying that in front of the camera because because i want the view mm, the truth is everything about ghana symbolizes peace and i think the world is fully aware of this ghana is one country that is not stressing the united nations or the african union ghana is not stressing them and they like to make use of the soldiers or police from ghana it's as if okay you come here come here come in front of me come and stand here can you see this person this person is peaceful this is a person that you should emulate if you want peace in your country that is how i take it to be by the ways i hope i already greeted you so today we are going to all the war-torn countries that we can find to see the role that the Ghanaian police officers are playing over there, how they risk their lives, how all what they are doing. I would love us to go and see. So let us go to some of the war-torn countries in Africa. Let's start with Somali. Yenko. The Ghana Police Service has deployed a new contingent of police officers to serve under the African Union mission in Somalia, Ahamisom, a team of 113 newly deployed personnel from the formed police unit arrived in Mogadishu, Somalia to begin their one-year tour of duty and help build the capacity of their counterpart in the Somali Police Force, SPF. The new personnel joined an advanced party of 47 other officers who had earlier jetted into the country to constitute a contingent of 160 personnel that will be based in Baidoha, the administrative capital of southwest state of Somalia. On arrival in Mogadishu, the officers were welcomed by the Amazon Police Commissioner, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Augustus Magnus Kelly, and senior members of the Amazon Police Leadership Team. In his remarks, the police commissioner noted that the officers had arrived at a crucial time when Somalia is holding elections and urged them to play a key role in securing the ongoing electoral process and serve the mission diligently. You are all welcome to base. We have an assignment at hand and that is uh, providing security for these elections. Like I have told you, this election is not a, day, a day's business. So my word of caution to you is you have to be very, very careful and dedicated to duty. There are things that are acceptable back home. Here they are not acceptable. You have to be very, very careful and mindful of what you are doing. Your interactions with other nationals, with your colleagues. This is the second FPU contingent to be deployed by Ghana to serve under Amazon. They replaced the first contingent whose tour of duty has ended. Deputy Commissioner of Police Daniel Ali Guambao briefed the officers on some of their duties. Some of these duties that you are going to perform are incumbent on you as form police unit that the individual police officers cannot actively carried out. And what are these duties? One, confidence building patrol, vehicle check, search and rescue operation, and other humanitarian services that your assistance might be needed. You could be also be involved in some static police duties like guard duties of key and vulnerable points within your area of jurisdiction, which is Baidoa. <laughs> Ghana 
is one of the police contributing countries to Amazon. Others include Kenya, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Uganda and Zambia. We are happy to be in Somalia. See, the part that touched me the most is where they constantly preach that war is not a good thing. Somalia, although uh, we all know it's very it's volatile, but um, we've seen a lot of things there that the peace that we enjoy in Ghana, we continue to enjoy it. Please, nobody should think that war is good. War is not good. If you've had the opportunity to go to town, you see that there are schools and infrastructure, all the things that they used to have, they don't have them anymore. School children, in fact, they don't even have anything like a school. So who goes to school? Nobody. There's no school. Um, all the institutions are collapsed. So war is not good. So we will plead with our people back home to hold the peace that we have and not do anything that will mar the peace that you are enjoying now. My advice to Ghanaians, we should uphold the peace. We shouldn't dis destroy Ghana. We'll see, but if they were to see the, 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 the destruction, you know, and, 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 and the, the quality of life, they would very much appreciate the, the peace that we are enjoying in Ghana. Here in uh, Somalia, war is not a good thing. You go to town, you see a lot of children roaming the streets. They don't go to school. The structures in Somalia here are completely broken down. There's no civil administration until uh, the arrival of uh, Amazon that we are able to you know, put uh, one or two things uh, in place. So war is not a good thing. So I want to uh, say that back in our home uh, country, I'll be telling uh, them that we should always try to be at peace with each other. Because what I have seen here, I mean, I cannot be able to, you know, say it by word unless you experience or have seen what is on ground here. So I want to say that we should, you know, always try to live at peace with each other. War is, you can never win with war. Yeah, so the first thing is the read orientations for them. Things that are allowed in your country are not allowed here. That one, they were not, they were not talking to Ghana. They were not talking to the Ghanaian police. They were referring to the, any other police from other African countries. Certainly not Ghana. Because I don't see what a Ghanaian police would do that would be against the rule that will be against the country where they are. I don't see. I'm sorry to say this. I don't see. I'm not saying that the Ghanaian police are perfect, but trust me, within Africa, especially here in West Africa, the Ghanaian police are perfect. They said in a blind man country, the man with one eye is the king. So I would take it that if you want to compare to other African countries, the Ghana police, they are perfect not because they are perfect but at least in the midst of all the wuru that we have seen in this life we can't see the one way they do wuru but with please they are perfect let's go back and see the impact they are making they are not just there to save people to maintain peace and order they are also giving back massively to the community that they are serving let's go and take a look at that and i'll be back God! God! <laughs> men do and me being a Ghana it's my passion to be a Ghana the Ghana my responsibility is to stand far away ahead of our convoy in case there is any threat ahead I will be the person to spot them first and you know here is a conflict area me being a Ghana, me being a Ghana it gives the women and children here some morale that so far as a woman is able to do this job, she will be able to do the same. It's a passion, it's a calling, and I love my job. 
Ghana is most of the time you say a male dominated. How do you feel about it personally? Personally, I'm happy doing my job. I'm passionate about it. I love to be a Ghana. I love my job. And I'm privileged to be doing men's work. It's not always the men. Women too can do more than what the men do. But so far we face action. No. Not yet, not yet. And I'm not sure I would face any. I'm gonna buy a dear pa because I also more be so quite a dear mawa. And so come who say. Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, yes, yeah, Kahobi. Now, yeah, 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 Somalia, as you do, Ebas, my not far. We are here to support. We are here to give our best to our brothers, the SPF and the people of Somalia, particularly for, for Baidoa citizens. We want to thank you for your commitment. Way by Siena, our in Macal, what Allah will I am Madasun and Kabahan or in the mother Somali, but will be made by Garbugan Siai. They perform creditably well in all the duties that they've been asked to do. Fian or Lobby in Lisco, Sir Bishop Ramadan, or Sedakaria, or Bishop Ufian Sadaka in Labio, Sidas Dradet, Ayak Usa has sustained an Anguaka Gudun. At this point, it is okay to say that I'm obsessed with the police in Ghana. You guys see. <laughs> you guys, I think sometimes when you see people from my country saying things about you. It's because they don't know you, okay? All right? So, you guys, this is what your police are doing out there. They are making impact. They are giving back to the community. They are helping out. They're just basically the women. The women are helping out, going out there to educate the women of that country that they can do it. Look at me. I'm a police officer. I'm a woman. I left my country. I left my family. I am here. You too can do it. Don't let relief be the reason you are not making impacts in your community. I am with the Reforms, Restructure and Development Department as an advisor. Additionally, I act as a driver of the MAMBA to um, take my colleagues to team sites for co-locations and engagements. We engage with the Somali police force, have discussions with them, mentor them, and then uh, see the best way to build their capacity in fulfilling the ATMIS mandate. So, women, you know women, we are peaceful, we are peaceful in nature, so the inclusion of women helps a lot. For instance, when you go out to team sites, we are able to access our fellow women as per the customs or traditions of uh, Somalia, it is easier for a woman to engage a Somali woman than for a male peacekeeper to engage a Somali woman. So our inclusion in the peacekeeping is helping us to get access to the women who are more vulnerable, women and children. And we enable them when they see us, it gives them hope and to know that women are also out there to support them. Together, we can build a very peaceful Somalia and a peaceful world at large. You see, so...
kudos to the Ghanaian police, okay? I'm not done with them. Anything good that I see about this body, this particular police, this particular body of the security service, anything good that I see, I'll bring it. I don't know how long I'm going to be on that, but like I'm almost done with this series because I want to move on to other things, you know? I get bored easily. <laughs> When I do something, I get bored. So I don't know how long we are going to be on this. But however, Ghana is saving the world a lot of stress, saving the world a lot of resources. See, see how a country just sit down and allow politics to break them, to break and scatter their peace that have refused. Oh, dear Lord. If there's one thing you guys hold me, whether I'm no longer in Ghana at any point, I decide to leave Ghana and go back to my own country or go elsewhere, I will always want to, always going to use you as an example for other African countries. I mean, never letting anybody political ambition to become the reason your country is torn. I had to like censor this video because I don't want to, if I show you pictures of what is happening in some part of the world, my bro, my people, you guys will thank God for what you have. Anyways, this video is still on my friends, the police. I'm still celebrating them. I appreciate them. I love them. In the absence of, among all the African, West African police, they are the best. Thank you. The other day, I didn't say they are the best, but I got people coming to tell me, how dare you say they are the best? Today, I'm saying it now. They are the best because I'm coming from somewhere. <laughs> I'm coming from somewhere where someone can just see you and strangle you. Nothing will happen except your family is rich. It's only in this country. I have seen people cry for justice. I will see a normal woman tying a wrapper, tying a scarf on her head and crying in the media you know saying that oh i want the police to investigate the crying of my son the crying of my relatives the crying of my this and you see the police you see the idp of police coming to act <laughs> where i come from yes today is that ghana versus nigeria i don't mind it doesn't matter if it's sounding like ghana versus nigeria where i come from you thai rapper you don't look rich there is no jeep parking behind you you don't wear brazilian hair you want to go and call for justice where how, how does this work which media house is even going to grant you the opportunity? These are the things we are talking about, the things that people take for granted. All right. I know that you guys appreciate what you have, but trust me, I appreciate what you guys have. And sometimes I feel like some of us are where we are because maybe God do not love us. Just, you just like throw you there and say, you know what? Anything will happen to you, make you do you. Then you start to leave, migrate to different countries and start to feel like, oh my god oh my god <laughs> anyways ghana police are doing a great job internationally and that is why this video is and i hope that you guys enjoyed it and that i'll get a thumbs up and i get views on this video mm, since we are doing it for the views <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in another video Doo -doo.